So it's bopping YouTube. Chigami is back once again. It's been a minute once again. And uh, I'm sure all of you know what went down today. And um, I didn't really want to... Well, I wanted to make a video about it, but I didn't really want to talk about it. So then something perfect happened. Which is one of my friends sent me like a conversation that went down between a group of friends amongst friends. So today I'm going to read through the transcript of that line by line and we're just going to talk feelings. So let's get into it. Let me share my screen. We'll do this the same way as usual and we'll see if there's stuff to talk about at the end. Okay, so the screen is recording. So, for anonymity, I have replaced names with banchodes, and I have replaced bad words with uh, less uh, bad words. All right, let's get into it. Bruh, literally everyone is on Instagram about Roe v. Wade. That's about how it was. This entire country is brainwashed into thinking it's normal to kill kids on impulse. Oh yeah, I don't think it's to that extent. And I'm... Okay. Even Bill and Hillary Clinton were saying though abortion should be safe and accessible, it should also be rare. Like, okay. I don't think the population is like thinking it's normal to just kill kids on impulse i think that's like really kind of a harsh way to put it but i do guess i think it should be somewhat rare what is it to me it's the mindset it shouldn't be it should be you know, that kind of makes sense if it's about not being if it's about being rare it's just a clump of cells argument in his wine. I, I don't think bringing morality into this is really helping anything, but I kind of do agree with the clump of cells thing because I'm for abortion, but I do think that we kind of have a too much of like a light um way of viewing it like i think that because like the sperm met the egg and the child is already forming it's already it's like a timeline in which a child could have been born so but it is still not like a child yet so i think we should still like say it's like in some way killing a kid but it's like not the same as killing a kid um okay wow like we're only like three lines in like, literally i want abortion to be available as a choice but not tax funded and death not a social norm you are taking this stuff as the end of the world and constantly saying guns have more rights than women so the privilege one country right, this is some bs and this is too far i do think it should should definitely be a choice i don't think it should be tax funded it should be funded by whoever needs it unless some specific circumstances and they can't like you know yeah um, literally GitHub and other version control software could be used in place of whack laws with hidden stuff. So I do think that a lot of laws nowadays get, like, bills and stuff have random stuff hidden in them to, like, get different agendas, but, like, I don't see what this really has to do with this argument. This is just going off topic. Stay living in the past and trying to rewrite the future and consistently... Things are probably bad. To never thinking things all the way through through pre-processing power, blah blah. blah. 
This also just sounds like some BS, but maybe to some extent rewrite the future. This is also just, um, I guess this be just an observation of how stuff is. Alright. One paragraph from one banch out is completed. It is time to move on. So. Next up is uh, Banjo 3. Hard to think things through when people are emotional nowadays. I'm guilty of this too, but how can you blame the people because society made us to be more divided than ever? It's possible that we're gonna... Yeah, that's true, but like... Blaming society. Yeah, but the people are society. Like, it's kind of true though. It's easier to agree than just live life. That stuff ain't gonna last long, so... Yeah, I agree with that. There. Bro, what are you talking about? Bancho 1, there's no yay abortion is the solution to pregnancy in any case mindset. It's like only... I agree with this. The Which you are using as an argument to the privilege per... I think, I don't think this is true though. I have definitely seen people on TikTok and stuff. I don't think it's to this extent, but I've definitely seen people are just taking this way too lightly. It's about people who actually need abortions. Is called a bad. <laughs> this isn't the point of being personal freedoms. Who cares if some people have that mindset should still be supportive of it. Person dictates that women have the right to abortion, meaning half the states can restrict. Yeah. I do think that is kind of messed up that half of them can just completely stop it. Like, I definitely think there's circumstances in which it should be allowed and all that stuff. Um, While well, put this weak extremist millennial argument for your policies that are simple statements that individuals have the right to do. I don't really get this argument. Like, isn't the argument that the simple statements are not so simple they might not actually have to do with this stuff like being ignorant not realizing sound difficult see it's similar to tube time i mean isn't i kind of feel like that's the point it should be somewhat rare but not stopped like um Chalk it up to young people being ignorant, not realizing what they have. Like, this makes sense too, but it kind of. Looks you know, like you'll have no perspectives other than your own. But, like, this whole thing kind of just sounds like belief that if someone reaches a different conclusion they're either not thinking correctly or incapable of thinking correctly and I feel like that's somewhat not good like it's kind of like bringing morality and stuff in a convoluted way but Like y'all have no, like I, yeah, I feel like this, these kinds of statements are stuff that you can't, it's not like a metric you can decide on. It's kind of an opinion too. Like, 
And anyone in any part of this argument could feel that same way about each other. I mean, by radically, like, both of these are extreme to a different <laughs> extent. Back to Bancho and more. The whole thing was solely about people taking out my Instagram feed with abortion stuff, even though none of them have been pregnant. <laughs> Y'all know I don't care about politics enough to really read any of that stuff, and I think politics is why. What do you mean? What do you mean about what? Like, y'all criticizing guns and abortion in the very Manip- Clearly just you being manipulated by big tech while claiming that your mindsets are sound. What is that even... Yeah, I feel like that goes back to this. Like, in a lot of circumstances, either sides will look at someone and think this. But to what extent? Like, I feel like to some extent, a good amount of people understand this already, and then they're capable of coming to conclusions with the same amount of thought process and just being on a different side of an argument. But exactly, have been known this but what's changed does this question even mean my point is I'm trying to be the big tech bruh <laughs> reaching another thing that changed has been big tech and social manipulation of the matches would y'all cr- would y'all claim to supersede but clearly fall for yourselves you're not being big tech, your mindset is being controlled by them in general. What is this even like? There's this word called like projection I have seen online and like. It's also like I f- if you know something, I feel like and truly understand something, you start, you stop thinking about it. Like constantly bringing up. Y'all claim to supersede, but it's like, how do you know that? And then it's also like, I don't know, can't anyone in this conversation be being, having their mindset controlled by them? Bro, what are you talking about control? Like this itself is a manipulated mindset. What does that statement mean? Can't any mindset be that? Yup, even my, but y'all. See, I don't get this statement. Because... Isn't that what's going on? Literally on both sides. How? I know I'm in it, that's why I'm pissed. People are talking about politics and... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I can agree with your points but the point of personal freedom contradicts your point that people have radically progressive mindsets that are influencing policy and should I feel like this is also kind of reaching just like it's like back here the other banjo my wording was probably way whack because I was heated but no heated because people are on the meme and <laughs> okay <laughs> valid this didn't come in your top message that's all that's... okay I think overturning is a good step to have a replacement Roe v. Wade with what we really need. I feel like that's kind of convoluted because, like, why get rid of something that does what you want already? But and like, people can build back better, I guess. Nah, bro, you're looking at it all wrong, too. See, I just don't like that statement because. Right or wrong is, first of all, an opinion, right? How can anyone come into any argument 
with that kind of statement, whatever. To expand or benefit for something you do not repeal, the repeal is 100% motivated to get rid of a bonus. That's the front flaw in that argument. You're thinking of it after the fact rather than seeing the goals beforehand. The replacement was rejected earlier in May. The rights were fundamental. The right to choice and abortion matters, nothing else. To expand upon that isn't possible when the fundamental right is gone. Do you think the like I like with politics, I honestly think anytime you like honestly bring in a difference between two parties, you've already lost. Republican goal in the last decade is to leading to a stacked Supreme Court to increase. This is just a dumb argument. Okay. Um. Like a fundamental right can't be taken away, right? Does the Constitution just like protects God given or to me like nature given or just existing rights, and then? Like, talk about like women's rights, abortion rights. First of all, it's like I thought not women aren't the only ones who can get pregnant, obviously. And, um, like, I don't really know how to feel about this. Because it is, let's just continue. No, but that's exactly why I think you're on the other side of the same coin being influenced. And I think so detached from reality, but that's the point. How do you just keep saying, but like, but that's, that's the point without making a point blockchain inversion control in governments true chance and balance of the tangents but if you look at it factually the argument that repealing it doesn't make any sense i think that's an opinion too Anything that came from that type of government is already whack in the first place. Is there like vague? What does this mean? Monroe happened, same stuff was showing up in politics. Appealing or not, is this a consequence of the current political situation to some extent? A balance will always exist. Kind of reaching. Covers by FBI and lower trust lead to whack decisions, but no longer on the whack stuff will lead to fear. I feel like this is like really reaching, but to some extent, in the end, I do believe in a balance. Like things will balance themselves out in one way or another, whether it's forced or not, forced in some places and not in other places. But like even Democrats are saying abortion would be like safe, legal, and rare up until like 2016, and the second like political party race happened they immediately switched to a more like harsh stance which is why like don't play politics in the first place because to any side any extreme of any party is already going to be whack like i'm gonna just try to live my life bro you make those weird blockchain versioning arguments because you're so detached from the personal individual experience of people because it doesn't affect you contraceptives with the burner man when may are the ones who have way more baby making power yet we just still repeal fundamental rights i can agree with this it's like not really caring about others to some extent but like The rest, it seems, once again, like an opinionated statement. Like. I 
because you are so detached from the personal individual experience of people. How do you know this of Bancho one in the first place? Because it doesn't affect you. I mean, I feel like that's kind of how it works, right? If things don't affect you, you don't really... I mean, yeah, that's the difference in how much a person truly cares about their fellow human and stuff, but... Kind of feels... They were ones who have way more baby-making power. What does that mean? And still repeal fundamental right now. What, fundamental, but... I think we should be focusing on like prevention and stuff, not like what happens after that, like more real sex education and contraceptive and stuff like that at the start when people go about doing this kind of stuff. Bruh. The furthest extent of both parties will always be whack. It's truly about what me and my position have to believe in order to get into a position where you can actually have some influence like the big tech. Kind, kind of convoluted. It's but we're all, but we are influenced into thinking that parties are all radical, dude. What does that mean, though? Like, once you understand that you're influenced, don't you understand that already? This is like a circular definition to me. Like, like what? What do you do after you know that this happens? Like. It feels like it feels like this statement is being made because unless you come to the same conclusion then you are still influenced type of point that's the point what do you do once you know that but you're dictating your views on policy on the faux radical belief system is my point if you know it's fake why do you base it like same opinion like couldn't it be said back bro this is gonna make me sound like i'm against abortion or something i'm, I'm i think it should be safe legal and somewhat rare but i found this on the web thank you my phrasing is whack I'm just applying how i feel I mean, my phrasing is whack and phrase it better Supplying how I feel and bringing in the political stuff because in the end I cannot give a about the abortion decision because I can't but <laughs> detach <laughs> this is just negligence to an extent like the view in politics is separate from my <laughs> on the views in politics Maybe also circular in some way. Truly, why are you nervous? I was just making a point out the messy phrasing of my perceived flaws in your perspective. Yeah, perceived flaws in perspective and messy phrasing basically seems like what all of this BS was. <laughs> in the end, I think all of us in this chat have peace, similar beliefs, especially because of when, where, and how we grew up. We differ in that you don't care about rules that don't affect you. Okay. Yeah, once again, like, each statement that's being made by Bancho 2 is, like, a perceived perspective, not... Maybe that's, like... Maybe if, like, my opinions were different, I would feel that same way about Bancho 1, stuff like that. Bancho 4 seems to be the one we should be focusing on. <laughs> It'll be relevant to what you guys, but we need to get rid of it. Yeah, for sure it won't happen though. Yeah, it's not realistic, but I agree. So the syndicate rises up and takes a murder, you. Yeah. Isn't it interesting that we have super different attitudes? And... But yeah, I feel like this is pretty basic understood by most but it's definitely true like this is how it is we have to operate with that knowledge 
<laughs> we run in the world free world out here <laughs> i'm down the entire system is broken because we haven't adapted technologies global connection Learn restrictions on free internet, but if a country that is supposedly built on free speech is regressing, it. this country is already lost in free speech with the, what Twitter is doing, being banned for saying stuff and a bunch of other nonsense. We need some real. Elon Musk is about to bring real free speech back, on, at least on Twitter. We do have free speech, and America is uh, objectively a better place to live than most other places in the world, in my opinion. And again, I am an immigrant. We did everything legally, and uh, it is what it is. The internet did start a lot of BS from the world becoming smaller and things becoming more intertwined with other things. See, us Metro's really put us in this predicament. <laughs> yeah, it's all their fault. Bro, STEM degrees is screwing us over. I'm feeling, exactly, I'm feeling a move away from nationality and move towards some sort of globalism and some state level powers one level higher and one level lower together as compared to the current single level of concurrency too this man seems to just consistently be bad at phrasing all the time i guess but i do want to move away from nations controlling stuff and within nations having states control more of their jurisdiction and then having broader picture rules that apply to everyone kind of be more on a global scale things like that a lot of y'all's opinions are short term or personal perspective based which is ironic because i'll do well, it usually promotes gender's perspective which is detachment or global and what is the like projection or just truly believing another person has to be having some kind of wrong thought press process to reach a conclusion because it's like opinion how do you how can anyone just straight up say a lot of your opinions are a certain way to me i would always like it, i think a lot of your opinions seem to be this based on something because it's like personal perspective base isn't that everyone in this conversation right now this doesn't really have to do with stuff pull the nihilism and detachment it's your perspective too i had the same thing on bancho three <laughs> too many banchos yep 100 percent my perspective and very what does that mean? This is literally the same thing as this dude with his phrasing. Everyone in this chat is whack. This is why. This is why friends of friends of friends are the best, man. They, he me he like me for real. I mean, I'm gonna put that in somewhere. I'm convinced we're all doing it to the same extent. Just the extent's very. I get that too. But I'm speaking out of emotion first policy and logic second so yeah that's a good statement of variance in a exactly isn't this about there isn't about a difference in depth or broad picture mindset it's simply about the emotion first logic second first emotion second yeah difference in thought processes sounds like we're actually getting to some sort of agreeing it's all about perspective it's simply the human condition it is all about perspective but i feel like some of the statements being made contradict this idea dualism is a sham yet yeah. Like, what is it? Like, this may be true, but what does this statement have to do with it? It's like stepping away from art, like discussing the actual topic to go back to saying your thought process is different than mine. So it's wrong. So your conclusion should be wrong. And it's like you're discussing the conversation on a different level than what was meant to be being discussed. I don't know. This whole thing is confusing. 
I did not believe I would have gone. Detachment doesn't have anything to do with this discussion. There's always a balance. I think the two of us really good examples of pulling things. Yeah, there's a, okay. Also, it could be possible that your detached attitude makes accomplishments for them. This is like some psychoanalysis therapy stuff. What does this mean? Or what does this have to do with that discussion? I mean, I guess then again, it's like friends just talking about stuff. But like, can't anyone make these types of conclusions about other people based on how much they know about their life situations and stuff like that? Like, what does this have to do with the argument on... Like, I feel like... It's like, it's like using, like I said earlier, it's using your thought processes must be wrong because of the conclusion. And because of that, your thought processes must be wrong. It's like a circular definition in the same type of way. At least that's how I feel about it. And now I put no effort into anything. What does that even mean? I feel like you see the thought process behind it all. See how I mean this? No. Wow. It sounds like you have the same mindset, but about having figured out emotion. This is just what like projection means in a sentence. On and off, I can't even feel. I don't know what the. I don't know what any of that means. Back to red band truth. This is why American society is fundamentally broken. This chat does have a perspective of her own, just like how you do with yours. You know? It's all influenced by a bunch of things, yeah. Divided over an issue, just like how everyone's focused on how to make them understand how they feel rather than to. Yeah, I feel like that's true to us to some extent, yeah. Arguing on the wrong level of a topic, I guess. It used to be a balance. Abortion is something that's case by case. Um, yeah, to some extent, yeah. The right mindset most people have is people are quick to kill a kid nowadays because everything is expensive. I think that's a pretty sharp statement. And uh, I don't People are quick to kill because everything is expensive. And we're breaking down a lot of scenarios into one sentence. So my phrasing again, yeah. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's like most people, but I do think there's a good amount of people who run that kind of mindset. There is, I say that's a loser mindset the same way people say politics is wealth based. Yeah, Didn't phrase it without that, but it's the varying mindsets lead to different conclusions. It's like that's saying why bother and just roll over. People want the easy way out. I say screw them. <laughs> very, very heated. My mom had to abort the third kid because she would have died otherwise. I'm on the side that we should have had an abortion, but that stuff definitely needs to be thoroughly checked. In terms of how to do that, IDK, well, there needs to be a change in mindset as a collective. We're all on the same side, the human side. Some reaching, I guess, but it is true. Stop trying to be on the right side of history, otherwise you're gonna have a civil war. And the right side of history is whoever wins, isn't it? And China screws us. Up. Yeah, <laughs> that's just gonna happen. <laughs> Idiot Olympic. <laughs> yeah. Mao, I hate politics, to be honest. Imagine if your state prohibited this. Wait, what? If, imagine if your state prohibited this. Or, dictator when you could could do it. like this is true but this man really just use this man's situation to make a political statement yeah this is what gives you the right to dictate morality by 
case by case. What does that even mean? What makes you, what gives you the right to dictate the morality as a whole? Like, can't that, these questions can be asked to both sides. The mental right to choice is necessary. You cannot dictate case by case. I don't, I honestly don't think that's true because I, I truly believe that nuance matters and like with enough details, you, you can, like there's a difference between near impossible difficulty and impossible. And I feel like you should be pursuing the best case to make the nearly impossible more possible, which is what technology and stuff has been doing throughout history tangents decided by a biased group in the region and it's like this is true but then again it's like so don't you just go somewhere that does allow it when you need, like it's obviously it's not it's making it a little less accessible but it's still available I don't know, I feel like it should not even up to the state, it should be up to like the clinic or hospital itself, right? Anywhere. Like, yeah. If you can find someone who's willing to do it, then you, yeah, I feel like that's how rights should work. Okay. Instead of killing a baby, it's complete and utter bullshit and for any argument. I agree with your overall point, though. Back to this, I, I do think it's not to, like, most people do it, but I think this is false. There's definitely some people who feel that way. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the president. <laughs> Y'all should, too. Yeah, I want to do the same. We'll call some time. <laughs> Gender politics. Wow. So I stopped recording. Cause I'm done, I'm tired, I wanna go sleep, stop talking about politics and stuff and enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. but yeah, I don't know, I guess conclusions of this video are phrasing and perspective matter just as much as, just as much as nuance does these things can make or break situations and conversations because people can mistakenly take coming to different conclusions through the same amount of thought but different thought processes as like inferior thinking or just wrong or not thinking things all the way through Convolution and circular definition in morality and thought processes are seen in a lot of places nowadays. You just gotta recognize we're all just people living our own lives. That being said, I'm done, so I'm out.